okay I'm back again with a quick video of my new solar system right now you're looking at my 20 watt solar panel it's putting out about a little over an amp worth of power which is more than enough what I need to use it for on a daily basis you can see the line is going across the deck there uh, it's coming up this wall going into a quick disconnect um, from the quick disconnect it is running along my bookshelf and my stereo system down into these little connectors right here these connectors are just standard connectors that electricians use to make uh, to put two wires together they're very strong much stronger than tape right here you can see I'm using a Ramsun Sun Shield 8 amp 12 volt charge controller it's currently charging actually the battery is fully charged so I just have a load on the battery so that I'm not wasting the energy so you can see I have a standard automotive battery here and a lot of you guys are probably saying that's not the right type of battery to use and you're absolutely right the reason I'm using this battery was because the battery was just going to be recycled uh, because it wouldn't hold a charge it would only hold around 6 volts which you know this is a 12 volt battery that won't do so I started looking up some stuff on how to recondition the battery and it actually worked for me I only had to use a desaw fader and put some more electrolyte in there and the battery is holding a very very good charge right now it's at 13.14 volts if I take that fan that you're in the background off it will go all the way up to 14.2 volts and the charge controller will switch to the charge side which I don't want it to do so right now it's running a load and maintaining the charge on the battery uh, which you can see right here I'll just show you that setup how I'm reading everything is with my multimeter right here it's just plugged into the well just sort of fitted onto the ends of the battery post right here on the alligator clips here you can see that I have the charge controller wires plugged in here just positive and negative and then running off of that is this 12 volt DC adapter which you can see the voltage go up rapidly as soon as I disconnect that load it'll go all the way up to 14.2 uh, volts which I don't want it to do so plug back in the load and you can see that it's getting very good sunlight right now uh, I had to move the panel because it was in this corner in the morning that's where it gets the best sun and then towards the afternoon it gets the best sun over there so that's how it works I guess it's because this is a two-story house and it sort of blocks uh, the sun when it's over in the corner but it still works good so let me just show you what I use this system for um, right now you can hear this fan going I'm going to try to grab it without falling and this fan will run for days without draining the battery and especially when I'm getting sunlight it won't drain the battery at all this is a 10 watt 0 0.8 amp fan and again my panel is over 1 watt so it's actually costing me nothing to run this fan all day and it's a pretty strong fan it's an automotive fan um, I'll actually show you how strong the panel is this fan again drawing 10 watts which is roughly half of what my panel draws and I'm going to disconnect the charge controller from the battery itself and just have the fan running off of solar so let me show you that negative comes off fan actually speeds up positive comes off still going charge controller is on as you can see the wires are just coming from the charge controller which is all solar battery is disconnected and as you can see it's working and if I connect the battery again it'll start charging the battery and the RPMs will lower so watch this see the RPM slightly decrease when I hook it up to the uh, battery to charge it so let me go ahead and turn that off so you guys don't have to listen to that the whole video and show you what else I use the panel for so since I'm getting so much power out of this panel I also use it to uh, run and charge my small Acer Aspire 1 netbook and I do that with this power inverter 
This is a very special power inverter that does not require it to be hooked up to a 12 volt source at all times because it has its own built in 12 volt battery. As you can see it's not plugged in right now. It's currently on and it will power the AC ports up to 65 watts. When I plug it into the battery or my solar panel it will actually run up to 80 watts and then it worked that way. And as you can see my battery has just fully charged in the few minutes that I've been speaking. Uh, that is a very strong panel. I mean, it charged this battery up in just a couple of hours. And the battery this morning was probably at about 12.5 volts and it fully charged it. It's only like 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon right now. So I also use the battery um, when there's no light on or when the sun is out. I'm sorry. That sounded silly. When the sun is not out uh, and the battery is fully charged, I use it to run this 12 volt uh, USB connector to run this light for lighting in the room at night. Um, and then I also charge my power packs. You know I like power packs. You can see them right there. Uh, some over here. And I basically just take a DC to DC adapter, two male connectors, uh, plug that into the cigarette lighter side, disconnect this battery and I charge my um, various different power packs from solar and again this solar panel is so strong it's a 20 watt panel that I can charge these things up in less than a day I mean just with the sunlight that's available right now the thing fully charges uh, my power packs uh, it also maintains the charge on them just like it would the battery it'll automatically turn off if I leave them on there it's very important that you have a charge controller with a solar system and then also, if I want more storage, because you can see that battery is fully charged, I can go ahead, which I'm going to do right after I stop this video, is hook up my other battery. This is a deep cycle battery. This is the one you want to use with the system. Uh, because number one, it has thicker lead plates. It can be deep cycled. Number two is AGM, so it's not going to, you know, have the hydrogen gas problem, which can cause an explosion. I can also finish charging my other batteries. I think I have almost 30 amp hours worth of those little spare batteries around the room. And then also my deep cycle battery which you know is connected to my deep cycle UPS back here. I don't know if you can see it but that is a 125 amp hour deep cycle battery and I'm planning on disconnecting that from the UPS and putting a 20 amp hour battery in there from eBay uh, and keeping that battery as a storage battery so that I can have extra energy. So I'm actually producing more energy than I need on a daily basis. Uh, all of these batteries except for that one since it's brand new are fully charged. My power packs have been charged from solar. Uh, my various different batteries. This battery, I don't have anything that's not charged. It's 12 volts. And then again, I can run the uh, fan and the lights just from solar alone. I don't even have to have the battery connected. So it's a very strong system. Uh, I plan on expanding it uh, with an even stronger panel and then maybe some more deep cycle batteries, but I just wanted to show you guys my system that I've had up for about a week. And there's the panel, very strong panel. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching, peace.